Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to day 29 of 30. We're on our final days of the 30 day paint body challenge for the 1978 Datsun 280Z paint body project we've been working on for the past month. Today is all about laying that base. We're gonna do base and clear coat in one day. We're gonna give the proper time for flashing between the base coats and then we're going to let that set for six hours before we start applying the clear coat. So welcome to day 29. Let's get some color and clear on.
done. It's in paint. That's insane. We did it in within 30 days. Tomorrow I'm going to start, I'm going to let this dry overnight. Uh, come out here and check it. It's not perfect, okay? It is a garage paint job. I don't expect perfection. Uh, I'm not putting Charlie Hutton out of business. I'm not going into competition with Chip Foos. So don't be upset if it doesn't come out perfect. It's not going to be perfect. All during this 30 day challenge, what have I been saying? I've been saying you're gonna perfect it later on. So even when you get to the point to where you're spraying, you're gonna get dust nibs and things that land in the paint. We can fix that later on. That comes in the cutting and buffing stage. So even though it looks fantastic right now. Dang, son. Dude, this turned out super good. Way better than I expected. There's still improvements we can make. I've got a few runs. Yes, even me, I get runs. They, they happen. Uh, they're bound to happen to you as well, especially if you don't have experience painting a lot of cars or doing a lot of this style of work. So the best thing you can do is go slow, turn your fluid in, and do it panel by panel. And if you're not getting the results you want, you know to make adjustments before you go on to the next panel. Every horizontal surface is going to naturally collect more dust and dirt and debris than something that's hung vertically. The downside of hanging vertically is, one, you have the potential to orient the metallic flake differently because you're spraying differently, so that's something to be aware of. And then you have a much higher potential for runs because everything is gravity is pulling down on it, right? So you might want to spray them a little thinner, maybe do an extra coat or two, instead of doing three coats horizontally where you can build it up and putting those coats on very thick uh, because it's not running this way, it's just kind of setting down on itself. You have the opportunity in, in a vertical scenario to get runs relatively easy, even with thin coats. So I would maybe recommend putting on four or five coats in that, in that instance, giving extra time to flash in between. Uh, it just takes time. It takes experience. So, and that's what you guys need to go out in your own home shop and get. You're not going to get it from this video. You might get information from this video. You might get more information from another video, forums and all that stuff. There's a lot of stuff out there, but the best thing you can do is go put on your respirator and get behind a spray gun and figure it out on your own. One of the things that I was paying particular attention to as I was spraying this was distance. Um, to the panel. So that's something you want to take into consideration as well. You got to be a robot during this stage. Remember that. So if you start having variances in settings of your gun, the distance to the panel, your overlap patterns, um, if you're mixing it with different reducers, all those things play effects. So if you're not getting the results you want, do not move on to the next stage until you've fixed what you have an issue with. And that even for me, there is some tiger striping uh, on the roof that I didn't particularly like. I fixed that, put on another coat of base before I went to clear coat. So take that into consideration, uh, watch for those things. And yes, you do have the potential to have different metallic orientation, especially in any metallic or pearl paint job, that when you start bolting the panels on, it will look different. The best thing I can say is in a, in a garage type environment, it's very difficult for you to have the air system set up to where you can spray the whole car and keep the dust off the whole car. So you want to set up as much as you can in a controlled environment and control the controllables. So there are things you're not going to be able to take care of. There's things you're not going to be able to prevent. And it's knowing how to mess with that later on during the cutting and buffing stage to where you can fix some of those. So that's what it's all about. Get the experience, get out there, build something. I appreciate you guys hanging in there. If you like this stuff, click that thumbs up button. If you haven't done so already, click that subscribe button. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. I'll do my best to reply as quickly as possible. I appreciate you guys as always. And until next time, thanks for watching this one.